Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D-Free, and for this one, we're going to go ahead and use a forgotten team. Maybe some people do still use it, but they are not anywhere near as prominent as they once were. Uh, and this is the Shadow Dragon Saga team. Hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new, and if you're missing, if you're noticing that I'm missing Gogeta, well, dummy, I didn't want to fight him and have him on my team at the same time, so I left him. You know what I'm saying? Not today, man. I left him at home. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to confuse anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Gogeta's not here, left him at home, and we're going to try to get as much key as we can, because aside from the GT link, they don't link super well. Uh, in dropping Gogeta, I did replace him for Bardock for that nice key and attack support passive that he has. Also, he does get the 50% boost, so he's not really uh, a bad inclusion on the team. All right, so Goku. Regular attacks won't even leave a scratch on Super Saiyan 4, you know. Ah, uh, this guy, who, do you, who does he think he is? Somebody better tell him. Somebody get their mans. All right. So we get to start off with freaking Vegeta, and Vegeta's going to just run through him really quick. Pause. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're set. So I do have the Omega and Sin Shenron combo as well. It's been a while since I've used that combo. Maybe Vegeta doesn't? Oh, okay. I was going to say, maybe Vegeta doesn't actually like do a ton of damage. But who was I kidding? Omega, can we get a crit, please? I didn't even check the friend. I just saw one, and I was like, yep, yeah, I'm grabbing him. Come on, please. Are you going to do this? Sin, please. <laughs> Freaking Sin, please. <laughs> okay, thank you. Powder Puff. Bruh is at SA1, though, so I ain't mad at him. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go ahead and seal Vegeta, actually. And then we're going to go after Goku. And then lastly, Pan, since she has type disadvantage, is going to go back over Vegeta. Over to Vegeta, anyway. All right, Bardock. Nullify the attack. What? He sealed him, and he still did all that damage. Whatever will I do? Uh, okay. She hit him with the Kamehameha. Oh, most clutch damage of the video. Oh, snap. <laughs> Goku said, hey, hold on. Let me show you, granddaughter, about a real Kamehameha. Straight to the face. All right. Actually, no, we're set. Hi, Key. I need to see the friend. What's his investment? Oh, he's pretty good. He's better than mine. Changed up on mine real quick. It's funny how they change up on you, man. I was like, nah, fam. I'm done with you. <laughs> All right, we're good. We may actually, if we get lucky, like with the crits and stuff, we may actually beat the whole rotation. Or the whole phase with this rotation, if you will. Hopefully that happens. <laughs> uh, okay, another attack. Can we get a crit or an, a super attack or something? Okay, cool. We got a super attack that will finish off Vegeta. Hopefully Goku doesn't turn around and super attack again for the second time in two turns. Okay, we got lucky. The double Omega debuff, though, probably came in super clutch. All right, and like I said, I didn't expect them to go down that quickly, but like I said, we did still uh, find a way to finish them off. This calls for fusion. Hurry up and get over here. We don't have all day. <laughs> this man said, hey, hey. Oh, man. Aw, oh, snap. I'm the one who will crush you. Nice try. All right, Sin. Um, this man can't be stunned, but he can be sealed. Okay. I'm actually going to let Sin stay here so he can be on rotation next time I get an Omega. So, Sin, do that. Um, kind of use this as well. We'll seal for more damage. All right, there we go. Sin, I'll let you go first for more dragon stones. We'll tank for dragon stones. Just gonna put that out there. Nine thousand damage. It's over. Nine. Ha, <laughs> got him. Y'all thought I was going to finish that. I wasn't going to finish that. 
That guy look like. <laughs> oh man, what'd you say? I didn't say nothing. All right. Uh, almost 600k attack. Okay, so actually this is a really good rotation because Pan is here for the support. She's gonna cheer her man's on. Uh, okay, you can have that. And lastly, this is for you, Pan. That's for you. Okay, 1.3 million attack on the Omega Shenron, triggering fierce battle with Vegeta alongside Pan's beautiful support. And he gets a critical hit to begin. Uh, Gogeta has not launched a super. Typically, whenever I take this event on on JP, he supers in the first damn slot every freaking turn. Every time he gets a chance, he does it. But it looks like Pan's going to take a super attack, which is unfortunate. Or not? Of course, the man's just waiting for my item to run out. And he's going to attack first, too. This man... <laughs> I know exactly what you were trying to do. And watch him do it. Watch him freaking do it. Watch him do it. Watch him do it. If he does it, I'm going to freaking throw my computer. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, he didn't do it. Ha! <laughs> Bro, I started sweating hella bad. I was about to say, hey, you know, it's funny how things switch up. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I wasn't going to throw anything. I'm a man of my word, though, so maybe I would have, like, picked it up and dropped it lightly to where no damage would be done. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, this is a whole lot of nothing. I expected more fun than this. What? What are you talking about? You're getting your butt kicked. All right. So I have double Super Saiyans this turn. Gonna pop another one of these, cause uh, gonna pop an Icarus, pop a Molly. I'm sweating. I've been sweating. All right. No, seriously, I've been sweating. It's hot. <laughs> All right. So attack reduction and Icarus equals super attack first slot like I knew he would do. That's going to do 20k. 20k, I'm calling it. Fit, oof. <laughs> All right, never mind, bro. <laughs> Why you got mad like that? You ain't got to get mad. <laughs> he got upset. I started freaking discounting his damage. I lowballed him. <laughs> he got pissed off and wound up doing double. A little over double anyway. All right. Uh, a million on this guy, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is a team that doesn't get a lot of screen time anymore, but was definitely one of the best teams upon launch, of course, because they were meta changing this team and the original Fusion team. Of course, the Fusion team that's led by us is for Gogeta, which of course a lot of people still use. And of course, if you're a global player, which this video is centered around global, uh, you know, then of course, he's still the leader. But, of course, there's a new Gogeta that just came in town. And he's like, bruh, I'm Big Daddy Fusion leader now. So you get my point. But, you know, they were also meta changing, like I was saying, though, because they came in with these powerful, powerful leader skills. And Omega Shenron has actually fallen by the wayside a lot. Uh, we have not seen him in the top 10 hitters list for quite some time now just because of the fact that more categories have come out. And I feel so bad for the Fusion, or excuse me, for this team because of the fact that this team literally only has like seven or eight good options and they're all really really like aside from like the first like three or four options they're all super underwhelming aside from omega ss4 gogeta and ss4 vegeta everyone else is like an average unit now they do have the benefit of being able to support physical units on the team like i said that 50 percent physical type boost which is awesome right but it's just this team can't compete and I feel like at the time that these teams came out, uh, they were, like, trying to balance it. So they didn't include a lot of units and stuff like that, like SS4 Goku. I mean, people say he's not on this category because he makes his initial introduction in the Boo Saga. Or the, uh, not Boo Saga, I wish, but the uh, Baby Saga. Let me continue this in a minute. All right. In the Baby Saga, right, which is true, right? So I understand that, but so did Pan. I mean, she was in GT prior to that. So did this Trunks. He was in GT prior to that. You know what I'm saying? So they could have. And if it came out today, they definitely would have put SS4 Goku in here. Uh, and that's probably another reason why Fusion's category became Fusion Dance instead of just Static Fusions, right? So you've definitely seen since then the inclusion of a lot of really OP units in these categories. Like, oh, uh, freaking Hybrid Saiyans, for example, have several LRs. You know, uh, Boost Saga 
has several LRs. Don't they have like three? Right? The new Vegito. Isn't Goku in the Buu Saga 2 category? I don't know. I don't own that unit. But, you know, Majin Vegeta too, And then Resurrected Warriors. And, you know, you've seen a lot of these category teams come up. So it's really unfortunate that this team got screwed as the way that it did. And Goku, which, like I said, could have been in the category, is like the best unit that does not have a category he's a part of yet. And that's wild to me that he has gone this long, this deep into the category meta without being implemented in a team. So maybe hopefully they add this category to him because he could have been in it. I mean, if Goku, if Vegeta and Gogeta are, then Goku could have. But still, definitely still one of my favorite category teams, despite the fact that they are super paper thin. Um, you know, fourth best unit is the STR Trunks, for example, and he's not that great compared to a lot of other top tier units, especially that have come out in the last few months. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this. Sorry that that turned into a bit of a lecture there uh, and all that other good stuff. If you guys did enjoy, please consider subscribing for more Dokkan on the channel. Have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.